Uh, I think the biggest challenge for, for not only companies but also government in different countries is to take a broader perspective than just the city. I think the city is an entity which works at some level, but the city is totally dependent or is largely dependent on the area around it. So to me, the big challenge for all of us is to do planning which links the city with the surrounding area of the city. Uh, I think it's only at that scale that we're going to have livable cities. And as the cities urbanize outward, they are covering up. They're, they're, we are losing some of the best lands around. The great advantage of PPP is that the private sector can also often do things faster and better and quicker than the private public sector can. And the real challenge with PPPs is aligning the incentives of the government and the concessionaire and the others to deliver that efficiency gain. Uh, local government has a very important role. I, I think actually the, the uh, broader governments, the bigger the state and other governments, uh, and I also think the private sector has an important role in making the, the local areas uh, vibrant for people. When you focus on a local area, you're closer to the people, you're closer to the taxes, you're closer to the politics, you're closer to the money, and so it, it, people care. I think of a sense of place, which relates to your local area very strongly. I think of a sense of place as being a, sort of a combination of I'm familiar with the place and I care about it. That combination, uh, and that brings out uh, the strength of people and, and of uh, local governments and of uh, nonprofits, of corporations that that can create the mix of jobs and housing and uh, opportunity and nature that, that makes a sense of place at a local, play, a local level. I think the greatest challenge that they face is urbanization. The concentrations of people in cities that are growing very rapidly are very difficult to serve with infrastructure. But infrastructure is critical for cities because it's infrastructure that reduces the congestion, the pollution, the flooding, the health, and other problems that, that, are, that arise when you put so many people together in a city. I think we should try and promote public transportation and discourage the use of the automobile, particularly in developing countries where they haven't become so accustomed to the automobile yet but here in Spain as well. I noticed that you have high occupancy vehicle lanes, for example, on the, on the entrances to Madrid. Things like that would be good. There aren't nearly enough projects. It's a great opportunity for the important corporations and, and uh, enterprises like Ferro Vial to really have a big impact on the future of the land and the people there. So I would say, uh, by all means, think about the urbanization effects of an area, uh, which I think are rather short term sometimes. I mean, they're also long term but also the longer term climate change effects. Uh, world is changing and urbanization and climate change are driving that. And uh, certainly um, private enter enterprises, uh, big companies like this and government need to be doing something. I mean, it's terrible to see this leaving it alone. It's missing the boat. I think there's a lot of interest in sustainability and people are very interested in the environment, but they lack an understanding of exactly what to do to promote it. And in this sense, forums like we just had where we discuss what it means to be sustainable and how you can make infrastructure green are very useful for everyone, for us and for the general public.